guys and welcome back to the abandoned town build I am rearing to go today um, I don't record these all the time because building something at this size you need to be kind of in the mood so I'm really in the mood today so let's record um, as you know I was thinking about extending this road we need to extend I wanted to extend something to the NPC village in the foreground because I wanted to tie that into the actual theme of the build and uh, today we're going to be working on Survival Bunker, which obviously no one survived in. So it's going to be a spooky bunker underground. So I'm kind of looking forward to this. Um, any suggestions on what I should build in the future on here, please let me know in the comments. But we're about halfway through this build now. I think we're on episode 9, so... Uh, when we get to episode 20, that is going to be completion, and the world will be download downloadable. Um, but the world will be downloadable at, on episode 10 as well, the halfway mark. But I will put that aside, and we'll continue onwards with this. <laughs> Sometimes I talk so much, I kind of just run out of breath. Okay, so I've extended this road down here now, and I've taken an L shape. There's going to be a car park right by here. I've made this little field with crops and stuff, and to make it really spooky, I've made some scarecrows in here. But rather than doing like a standard scarecrow or like a snow golem, I decided to put some of the mob heads on here. And these things look so friggin' vicious, man. So it looks like some... It looks like there's been like a survival village and what they've done, they've actually used the zombie heads and used them as part of the scarecrows um, to scare rival people off, I guess. So, yeah, that looks kind of cool. This looks really scary in the night time too. What I've done, I've put some glowstone lights in the ground and I put trap doors over them so they're kind of concealed here. And this place looks so spooky at night time, I really enjoy it. And what I've done, I've made an arch and then it goes into the NPC village. So where will we put the bunker? In the last episode, I was thinking about putting the bunker down in there, but I want the main entrance to be very obvious. Uh, what I've done, there was a house right by here, and I've actually removed it because, like I said before, I don't like the way NPC villages spawn in Minecraft. They're a bit close together, and the streets, um, with the houses being spawned here, and there would be another one here, it is so cramped on here. So what I've done, I've actually removed one of the houses here which I'm really really chuffed about because it just opens the place up and puts a lot more space here let's put that there um, maybe another bush by here and we can put a glowstone underneath that okay so I've cleared the space right by here um, I think this is going to be a really good place to put the bunker which goes underground let's just do that I'm actually recording at 60 frames today um, I've been trying out some weird new recording techniques. I know YouTube waters it down to 30, but I've been trying something new. Okay, so we have the, um, the blacksmith right by here, and if you remember, there's a ton of diamonds in here. Um, if you want to know what the seed is, um, it is available on the first episode of this build. I'm not too sure if I can remember it this time to put it in the description, but if you want the seed for this map, please check out the first video in the playlist. Okay, and we've got this hill by here too, and I think it would be quite cool if the entrance was to go into the hill right by here. I think that would be cool, and possibly have it go down in the ground a little bit. Um, today we're just going to be, inter not interpreting, what am I on about, um, improvising this bunker. Okay, so I think the bunker would be cool if it went down like this. That would be nice. And then into the cliffside right by here. Well, not a cliff actually, a hill. What am I on about cliff? Maybe we can go down one more block by here too. As you can see, there is a cave system underneath us. So once we break through so much, um, it'll just open up into a lot more space for us to develop into a bunker. So I think... I think four high would be good. I don't like having Minecraft rooms that are like this. It is way too way too cramped for me it makes me feel weird and I wouldn't like it in real life to be in a room that was this high I would I would freak out I would probably cry like a little baby get me out of here okay let's get rid of that just patch a bit more over here um, if I need to do any major terraforming I will do that off camera but I will do little bits like this just to help with the video okay that's cool so, the bunker would have major supports in it, I guess. And if it's like a homemade bunker, say that these villagers decided to put something together quite snappy due to the zombie apocalypse, I don't think it would look too 
great. But what I can imagine, I need some logs actually. Let's see what spruce looks like. Spruce. Okay, we'll compare the spruce to the oak. Okay, that looks more jungly, the spruce does. I do like the texture on it. I think we're going to go with spruce. Okay, so the bunker is going to have a main entrance by here. <clears throat> that is going to have supports built into it. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, so it's going to be like a a botched job, if I put it that, or just a rough setup. Say that these villagers are in a catastrophe and they desperately needed to get a bunker a bunker up really quickly. So, well, just imagine that has happened. Even though there still are some villagers here, I do build on here in peaceful, but uh, when I logged in just a moment ago, it was on hard, and there was a ton of zombies around here. Um, this house I removed here, there was a lot of um, NPCs already in it. Okay, so we don't need a dedicated path here, but we can put something rough using the cobblestone, um, the actual gravel. And then, where's the smooth stone to? There should be some smooth stone. I think I've got some up here somewhere. Yep, so we've got the smooth stone here. Well, it's not technically smooth, but it is the actual smooth stone block, as you can see with the tool tip down the bottom. So we'll mix these mediums here. I think the gravel and the stone work really well together in this texture pack. That can just go back to normal grass and so forth. Like that. Okay, so. We'll get some fence and we'll get some bars. What are these textures? Enchanted book. So we'll get some iron bars and we'll mix these up here. So there's a bit of a homemade barricade going on. Let's see what it looks like if I merge it over that. No, that's not too good. I would rather it better if the, if the, the fence and the bars were more of a connective tissue. A more of a connective texture. Sorry, what am I on about tissue? I've been watching their um, the surgeon simulators. Um, there's a lot of people doing that right now. I can't bear watch any more of it. But I have been watching them. I have been enjoying it. But I really can't watch any more people do it, honestly. I mean, like, all my favorite YouTubers are doing it. And everyone who's <laughs> watching them is doing it and uploading videos. I cannot do it really doing my head in see seeing people still do it though all right let's make it daytime I mean like how many variations do you have to see I know you know too much okay so I want these to go all the way down and then the sides have to be supported hmm let's go with let's see what bricks look like they might be kind of interesting we haven't used bricks Whoops. Actually, that's kind of cool. So we don't want to go all the way to the top. But we want a support wall to be here. If these bricks look a bit more damaged, that would be kind of nice. Because it would just look like someone just threw this bunker together really fast. As you would do in a zombie apocalypse. I mean, like if there was a zombie apocalypse, you wouldn't be rushing this, would you? I mean, I mean you wouldn't be taking your time, not rushing. When I said Russian then, it sounds like I'm saying Russian. Russian, Russian. Very weird. We'll put that here. Like so. And then connect that. See, that's kind of cool. Maybe we should get rid of the bottom ones here because as you can see it's it's coming out in all the rate all the way. Put that like that. That, um, yeah, that works. Okay, so we'll just do the bottom ones as fence, and then we'll put the iron bars along the top. Just because it's more flush, and it looks a lot more nicer. This will have to go. So I'll have to do a little bit of landscaping there in just a moment. Give me back that bar. Minecraft is running so smooth recently, too. I have no idea what it is. I think it's because my computer recently done a defrag. Yeah, it's really weird. Uh, sorry about that, my mum just intervened. Okay, here we go. Calling me up the stairs, I couldn't hear her. 
So I had to pause the recording. Okay, so this is kind of cool. Maybe we can have like a makeshift sort of hedge going along here. And then what we can do, put half slabs along the top of this. Possibly. Let's just finish these hedges off. I know it's meant to be a bunker, but I'm kind of making it look nice. Okay, so we want to get some standard torches. There should be some around here I can just pick. Any on here? Nope. Okay, we'll take those and we'll keep some stuff on the hot bar just in case we're going to use them for something else. Okay, so we want to put torches on here. Yeah, we'll spread them out a bit more. Mm, I want to put a torch by here somewhere too. What if we turn this into brick? Whoops. And then we put the torches on here. That looks kind of like homemade, shifty sort of thing. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to pull the dirt over the top of this because we want it concealed. So we'll just fill this in quite fast. Like so. <clears throat> okay, so we'll pull the dirt over the planks. And we could potentially put brick in here because we need something to look up to. We want it. We want something to look kind of pretty in here. Okay, I'll take that back. Not not pretty, but constructed. <laughs> okay, so we'll do that, and then we'll pull the dirt all the way along. So I'm going to have to fill this section in by here, I'm afraid. Okay, like so. I am clicking like a bitch right now. <laughs> okay, so we want. Oops, we'll fill this in here, and then we'll pull this across here. So we got like some sort of natural gradient within the landscape. Even though everything is quite square anyway. Okay, so like this. Like that. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> okay, so we want to fill this section in by here as well. Like so. Okay, I think this um, build is going to be two parts as well, guys. Due to the amount of workers involved in this. And then we want to pull that in. We'll fill this in so we just look like part of the hill. And then what we want to do, we want to put something similar by here. But I'm going to leave this. I'm going to patch this in in my own time. Otherwise, this is going to be very tedious for you guys to watch. So by here, we want to put some more supports. I think I'll remove that, actually, because I don't like having... I don't like having logs next to each other like this, especially too. I like logs to be standalone. And then what we want to do, we want to get some upside down steps. Oh, there's the snow by here. We'll have a look at this. We want to get some upside down steps. Mm, we'll go with the birch. I don't think the texture is going to be very cool though. Actually, that is not too shabby. So we'll go like this. That's kind of cool. And then, just check out the snow. I've been wanting to see this. Have they made it look like carpet or something? Or is it just snow? Hmm. Probably just snow. Okay, so we'll have this as gravel. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to have to do a lot of... filling. <laughs> Okay, so we'll have to patch this in with stone. Because the gravel's going to fall otherwise. Gravity, you suck. Um, okay. Actually, we can just use smooth stone. Because i got a feeling that this all the gravel's going to fall down in there. Okay, so we have the beginning parts of our bunker. I want the bunker to have, like, sort of that shape on top of it. Like a dome. When I think of bunkers, um, the thing that comes to mind for me is... I don't know if you had though these in the states that I'm about to describe. In the UK, um, a bunker, especially during World War II, was a tin roof on top of like a small shed in the garden uh, that sort of went down in the ground a little bit. So you, kinda, you still find things like that in the UK. Some people still keep them at their properties too. Okay, we want to fill that. I think that's kind of cool. That looks like a defense there. And then this goes down into the bunker. How wide is it? Two blocks. So you want to get some doors. 
And I think we can use the iron doors this time, and then but we want to get some pressure plates too. Otherwise we're never gonna get out. Um let's go for this one. And then get some torches. These look like old electrical torches too, not not like proper nice looking ones, so they're gonna go down really well. Oh yeah, that is what I call the beginning of a bunker. So in here now, we need to excavate a lot of this out. We'll make multiple rooms and like, we could possibly use the bed and make uh, bunks as well and stuff like that. I think that would be kind of sweet. Anyway guys, I want to say thanks for watching. Before I go, I'm just going to take a screenshot of this so we can put it on the thumbnail for the video. Um, make sure you leave any suggestions below. Um, they're really going to help out in the series. And make sure you head on over to my channel too if you're brand new. Um, I've got a lot of other content on the channel at the moment, which I'm really excited to talk about. I haven't, haven't really um, started anything new. I want to slowly... I don't want to move away from Minecraft, but I want to bring other genres of gaming onto the channel. Anyway, so thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And I shall be seeing you next time in another gaming video, so peace out.